perfect in God's permissible will. And last uh, teaching we looked at, we touched on the fact that there is such a thing as God's perfect and His permissible will. And uh, the text scripture that we looked at is in Romans chapter 12 area and have come down to Cana of Galilee and there's not all of his disciples with him at this stage but we're looking at Peter, James, um, Andrew and John uh, are, are part of this uh, team. It's probably Nathaniel is, and Philip was there. Um, I, I don't want to get into that kind of detail but the point remains is that when Mary comes to her son and she says they've run out of wine and she says to her ser to the servants, whatever he says to you, do it. She is expecting him to know where to get wine that time of night. That's what she's expecting. Because she knows that he knows always what to do in the situation. But these examples that we discussed very uh, in a serious light. Because there is such a thing as God's perfect will and there is such a thing as God's permissible will. And God will permit us to do that which we choose. God is not a dictator. And uh, as far as we are prepared to um, go in our own, uh, our own way, He'll allow us to do that, up until a point that is, obviously. Um, but at the same time, God has His perfect will for each one of our lives. And when we stand before Him on that day, for each one of us will stand to give an account of our lives before the Father and our Lord Jesus.